the SEC complaint and the the indictment specifically point to conduct occurring in the United States, um, specifically in the Southern District of New York for the for the indictment. And uh, the SEC points out that there were lots of U.S. investors who lost their life savings. There are um, more sophisticated institutional investors that lost billions. So um, I think their contention is that uh, Do Kwan and his folks were reaching out to U.S. investors, whether they were based in the U.S. or not. They knew that they were uh, getting U.S. investment money. And frankly, they were targeting their pitch to U.S. investors. Right. Yeah, that's I think that's an important distinction, because it's not so much that like U.S. investors found their way to them. It's that's usually what they get them on. Right. Some kind of marketing or some sort of targeting to to Americans. That's right. This isn't made up of, you know, they, you don't see uh, people trying to defeat efforts to block U.S. investors here. You know, there was there was outreach we're going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly. We're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event, and now we have the banking collapse which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. We all know this channel is Shadow Band. Now, guys, in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. And then also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos. But of course, you have to do your own research. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And guys, we have Bitcoin and crypto pulling back. But don't forget, we're the only game in town on the weekend. And this week, guys, is definitely going to be a roller coaster ride. Don't forget, we have quarterly futures that are going to end on Friday. And then also we have the SEC going after Coinbase. And we know the United States has always led in technology. 
But guys, remember, this is the financial system. We know the central banks are not going to give up control. Like Gary Gensler stated, it's all a monopoly. They will integrate your technology, give you a percentage at first. But we all know how it ends. They end up owning the whole thing. The whole purpose of developing technology for a lot of inventors, of course, is to sell it and make billions. And we know the NWO knows that. Majority of these people are not conscious. But guys, remember, this is all part of a plan. The fourth industrial revolution and the emerging markets are leading us and the United States is behind on purpose. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which were pushed down on Friday. We had the dollar spike. And then, of course, guys, we have volume tether USDC. And then we have the Fed. Report about $2.2 trillion, And we know the central banks are raising rates and running off the balance sheet in order to destroy this legacy market so the fourth industrial revolution can rise. Where the robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep are going inside the metaverse. And guys, we know the Fed had denied custodial bank again, and the excuse was they were invested in crypto, which is unstable. Now, don't forget, back in 2018, you had narrow bank which was a stable bank and would be perfect in a situation like this, was denied for no reason. But guys, we know the reason why, because they do not want an outside bank coming in, finding out exactly what they're doing. We know no outsider has ever audited the Fed. Now, we have European banks heading to another weekend with a potential banking crisis. And guys, we know Janet Yellen held a meeting on Friday. But guys, don't forget the Treasury, the SEC, the Fed, they all knew what would happen if these banks are buying treasuries and mortgage-backed securities at 0%. Now, all of a sudden, we're all the way up to like a 5% Fed's funds rate. They knew no one would want those instruments. So guys, we know this is all part of a bigger plan to destroy the smaller banks and then also get the bigger banks to consolidate because the banking model is changing. Remember, blockchain tokenization is going to cut out all these fees. There's no way that these banks are going to be profitable. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, don't forget Grayscale is sitting at about $23.5 billion. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have German DWP Bank to offer Bitcoin trading to 1,200 affiliate banks on new platforms. And guys, we know why the masses sleep, why the masses are distracted. We know the NWO keeps building. And then lastly, guys, we have the Do Kwan movie has started. We know he's been arrested. And then also, guys, we have the United States charging him. And he wasn't even in the U.S. So guys, we know this is all a movie. And we know most likely FTX caused the Luna collapse. But the United States had plenty of time to intervene before the collapse even happened. The SEC's job is to protect the investor. But the only thing we've seen them protect is the gambling casino. Don't forget Gary Gensler and Jenny Yellen are the NWO chess pieces in order to land us in the fourth industrial revolution. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. This crypto teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, New to Crypto's Coinbase, BitChu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing. They were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. 
And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.